corn flour. Yeah, then you bon appetit. And this is my lunch. is basically a lawyer word which means we love you so much please ignore the background of a crying baby that's my neighbor's baby please 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 ignore that one anyway today i'm going to be showing you uh, a recipe of how we prepare omena in a kenyan way according to how my husband has taught me so far and you all know i'm in western part of kenya and this is like their staple food ugali omena yeah ugali omena morenda <laughs> so anyway i'm going to be showing you today how we make or prepare or cook omena in a kenyan way and uh, yeah that's it that's it that's it and if you, if you know a better way of making or preparing omena please don't come for me this is just how my husband has taught me remember i come from central part of kenya and in central part of kenya we only do waru mukimo mushere you know all those things but here they do a different way of maybe eating they they, they basically do unique food <laughs> anyway i'm kidding so without much ado let's get down into the video let me just show you the ingredients that i have and we get into the video remember i've told you to ignore the background of a crying baby but remember to subscribe before 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 leaving this channel okay remember to subscribe and watch till the end i love you so much so guys, what I'm really doing is uh, I try to separate the small ones with the big ones because the small ones, Mimi, my hubby, Aliniambia, normally they are not good. <laughs> and I don't know. So that's what I'm trying to do here. And then of course, unajua omena ziu kujana uchafu from the lake or from the ocean. I don't know where they are. Misi ji kwenye zina tolewa. But wherever they come from, they come with sand. So you have to be very careful when selecting. Yeah, when doing the selection and everything. So basically, this is what I'm doing. And then now, after after selecting, I'll boil them with uh, maybe lukewarm water and then maybe rinse with cold water. Iyo ni akutoa ile harufu ya omena. Si you guys know how bad omena smells. <laughs> So yeah, that's you, that is what I'm doing. So guys, nisha ziyeka kwa majimoto. Si munaona iyo nini? This is warm water. So I'm just trying to wash. Ndo itoe pia uchafu. Arufu, it's really hot. So after this, I'm going to rinse with cold water. So this is me rinsing with cold water. I see. I'm not checking when you. I'm not even when you are making a kanga no chafu. Don't ignore washing. Don't ignore. But the other thing, the only disadvantage of cooking omena niati. Ooh, you are rufu. If you don't wash your utensils well, zitanuka tu yo nini omena, which I really hate. Kabisa, 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 I hate it. Miu mikishu anawasha na majimoto, na nasugua kabisa na sabuni. Why? Because mimi, that harufu is not for me. So very quick, before majietu ya ugali boil, I'm going to be taking you through my ingredients. Here I have my garlic and ginger. I'll crush them. Yeah. 
and then I have my two tomatoes, I have my onions, I have of course my corn oil, I have Rico, I'm gonna be using mixed spices and of course I'm going to be using this garam masala yeah which I love so 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 much and you can also add beef masala if you want if you want that is so that is basically my ingredients so my water is boiling it's boiling so I'm gonna be making ugali first Ju that is the hardest part and uh, I'm gonna be but then ugali is a mixture of boiled water and corn flour yeah then you just mix them I'm going to be showing you the end product there's no one to hold the camera for me I'm sorry so guys first thing I'm heating my oil now we're in the process of cooking our omena so I'm heating my oil you add your omena hapa najua tutarukiwa kwa sababu ya maji so wase tutaacha i boil mpaka ianze kutoa povu nitawaonyesha tukifika hapo Okay, what I mean is, I'm going to let it uh, heat or cook in the oil until uh, it removes what? <laughs> King Reza Shira. English is definitely not my first language, so you, you will understand that. But I'm gonna be showing you. I hope you guys will understand what I mean. So let it heat in the oil. Eh? And this is also to make sure that your omena are a bit crunchy. You get me? They are not soggy. You know, the people who, who cook omena and they are soggy. Who I, I can't even eat that, by the way. To be honest, I can't eat. I love my omenas when they are crunchy. That one makes them uh, to be somehow delicious. Yeah, I don't know for some reasons. Imagine I just love it. Kitambo, I used to hate omena so much because they were they used to be cooked when they are soggy. You know, my mom at that time how to how to cook omena because you know we come from the central part of Kenya and we don't know how to cook these things. It's like you cannot link a nisha a person mwenye anapika omena mwenye ametoka kisumu na apasa mwenye ametoka central those are two different people with two different experiences so you get what I mean guys if you look keenly unezona ni kama povu that is what I was telling you and now your omenas are ready now I can add my tome, uh, my onions yeah at this point you create a certain space sorry so you create a space to add your onion They look crunchy and I love it. You can also add your garlic and ginger paste. Yeah. At this point, I can smell my ginger and garlic paste, which is the most important thing so that I can avoid that bad omena or daga smell. Yeah, so I think uh, let's wait for at least one minute, then we add our tomato. Tomatoes, our tomatoes, not tomato. So again, what do you do? You create space at the center. creating space at the center so you can add your tomato. Now here what you do, unafunika nyanya zako na omena.
and then wait for like uh, two minutes. You see, I've covered them. I've covered my tomatoes using the daga. Yeah, like that. Raiko, beef masala, garam masala, mixed spices. I'll add them into our omena. Adding our spices and of course salt. That's it guys. We can now serve and eat. Let's serve. Bon appetit, and this is my lunch. <laughs> oh my god. That is it. It's damn sweet, but then you can eat this with the um, skumawiki grains, you know, all those things. But today, I felt like I just want to do ugali and omena only without anything else. I know you guys are salivating already, but um, let me just end this video right there. I'll see you on my next video, okay? By the way, I love the fact that it's it's crunchy. It's so delicious. It's not soggy, you guys. It's not soggy. It's so crunchy. Can you hear the sound of crunch when it was in? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but that's it. Anyway, bye bye guys. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know how you cook your omenas in your own way. And let me know if I've done it perfect. I know this is not perfect, but it's just the way I've been taught here, okay? So, yeah. I'll see you on my next video.